بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویئرس آج میرا جو ٹاپک ہے لیکچر کا میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ وہ میرے پریویس ٹاپک سے زیادہ امپورٹنٹ ہے آپ یہ کہیں گے تو صحیح کہ میں ہر لیکچر کو کہتا ہوں بہت امپورٹنٹ اینڈ رائٹلی سو بیکاز ابھی تک میں نے جو آپ کے ساتھ کمیونیکیشن کے بارے میں ڈسکشن کی ہے یا انفارمیشن شیئر کی ہے وہ بیسک فنڈامنٹل پرنسپلس پہ تھی لیکن آج ان اے ریئل سینس جس چیز پہ میں آپ کا فوکس کرنا چاہتا ہوں وہ ریئلی ان ان پریکٹیکل ٹرمس از امپورٹنٹ فار آل آف اس اینڈ مور سو امپورٹنٹ فار اے پرسن ہو وانٹس ٹو بی اے گڈ اسپیکر میں یہ بعد میں بتاؤں گا کہ وائی ٹو بی اے گڈ اسپیکر یو ہیو ٹو بی اے گڈ لسنا سو مائی ٹاپک آف دا لیکچر ٹوڈے از لسننگ آپ کو پتا ہے کہ کمیونیکیشن کے چار ذرائع ہیں اسپیکنگ رائٹنگ ریڈنگ اینڈ لسننگ یہ چار ایکٹیویٹیز ہیں وچ وی نارملی ان ڈالج ان ٹو کمیونیکیٹ ویئر از دا تھری تھری آسپیکٹس آف کمیونیکیشن آر equally important but listening is the one which takes most of our time you as a student must have observed that almost 50% or rather more than 50% of your waking time is consumed in listening ordinarily any person other than a student would as well indulge a lot in listening because listening is an essential component of communication on the average an average person an ordinary person consumes 42% of the communication time in listening so listening is an important component of communication let's see what's the definition of listening listening perceives sound from the speaker attaching meanings to the words designing appropriate response and remembering what the speaker has said by interpreting the message look here speak listening is an activity which has various stages primarily it is perceiving the sound attaching meaning and responding I'll be telling you in detail the components of listening but let me initially tell you the difference between hearing and listening people often get confused and they mis- mistake hearing to listening hearing is on only recognizing the sound but listening is much more than that listening is as i said perceiving recognizing the sound and then associating yourself with the sound and then evaluating it and then remembering it responding it various four stages let's take all these stages one by one so the process of listening first stage is receiving and hearing receiving and hearing means attaching yourself to the sound which strikes your eardrums the sounds the sound bites which strike your ear stimulates neurological impulses jab aap koi awaaz sunte hain koi shor sunte hain it strikes your eardrum and creates impulses which reach the brain and the brain then puts that sound in a definite sequence in a definite order so that it recognizes that order in the shape of word what is a word a word is basically sound bites put in a definite sequence in a in an organized manner which you recognize as word and the words put into a set pattern is the language so this is where the initial process of hearing 
starts. Hearing starts here and it ends here. But then the listening starts. Because the first stage is the sound. Ordinarily, we hear lots of sounds around. But then we do not give that sound the shape of words. When we give this shape of word and put them in a pattern, then it is in the language and that is the, when the whole process of listening starts. Next stage is the filtering. Now look, filtering is a process whereby we attach ourselves to the special stimuli which we want to hear. Imagine that at this moment while you are listening to me if I ask you for a moment just to close your eyes and start listening to the sounds around you you might listen to the sound of the the uh, uh, desert cooler which might be running in your room or the fan you might hear the sound of the fan at the same time you might hear somebody moving around you you at the same time would be hearing the cars the automobiles running go past your house so why is it that when you are listening to me then you are watching me on the television that you did not take notice of those sounds because you have sensitized yourself to the special stimuli which you want to hear. Aapne filter laga diye. Certain stimuli you want to hear and certain stimuli you don't want to hear. Maine ek cheez aapko jo batani thi in the hearing ke waha hearing mein bhi aap there are certain sound bites like sound is measured in decibels. This is a unit of measuring the sound. If the sound bites are between 55 and 85, it is the normal sound bite, the decibels which you normally hear. If you go disco, that decibel level can raise to 100. Then it becomes unbearable. So likewise, our gird has many sound bites. Hain. Kabhi kabhi wo higher decibels mein hote hain, kabhi lower decibels mein hote hain. But you have the capacity to filter yourself out and pay attention to the special particular sound bite you want to hear. So filtering ke process ko aage badhate hue. Imagine yourself sitting in a restaurant and you are talking to your friend. You are engrossed, you are absorbed in discussing something very important. Or maybe your exercise, your uh, common exercise you want to submit to your professor. And presuming that your name is Aslam, suddenly you hear somebody sitting in the cafeteria taking your name. All of a sudden, your ears would be tuned to that sound, so to say sound, or your name. How is it that suddenly you have receive that uh, the sound because you have selective uh, that uh, decibels which are familiar to you initially you had filtered them off and you are only listening to the conversation which was taking place between you and your friend so in our daily life what happens is that we are bombarded with lot of sensory stimuli हमारे गिर्द बहुत सारे ऐसी साउंड बाइट्स हैं लेकिन हम अपने आप को एट टाइम्स फिल्टर कर देते हैं कट ऑफ कर देते हैं फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल स्टिमुलाई व्हिच वी डू नॉट वांट टू पे अटेंशन टू सो फिल्टरिंग प्रोसेस ये हमारे लिसनिंग प्रोसेस का एक कंपोनेंट है जो हम इंटेंशनली एट टाइम्स हम अपनी रिक्वायरमेंट के मुताबिक अपनी नीड के मुताबिक अपनी डिजायर के मुताबिक फिल्टर करके वही आवाज जो कि हम चाहते हैं जिसको प्रोसेस करना हम करते हैं दिस इज द एबिलिटी वी हैव गॉट इन आर सेल्स देन कम्स द थर्ड कंपोनेंट दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग 
understanding is that once the words are formed, then you have to give those words definite meanings. Now, giving meanings to the words mean evaluating those uh, words. You, uh, you give different, according to your perception, different meanings to the word, as I just now said it. You start judge, judging what the other person says. You approve or disapprove. Now, you, for undergoing the process of understanding, you, you go through this interpersonally exercise of accepting or rejecting, uh, criticizing or, or understanding, or taking as the, the, the views are expressed. This process internally aap mein chalta rehta hai. Because you have to grasp the, uh, the contents, the grasp the contextual aspect of the message. Ideally, if you really want to listen to the true message of a person who is communicating with you, ideally it would be that you do not criticize, you do not judge, you do not evaluate, you do not uh, accept or reject just according to your frame of reference, but put yourself in the frame of reference of the person and then try to understand and attach meanings as the sender is giving to you. But this is the ideal situation when you are actively involved in the process of listening. Then comes the fourth aspect is remembering. Keep in mind that you cannot reproduce a message if you do not remember it. Whatever we receive, we remember, though for a very short time. And memory is not what is said. Keep, keep in mind, and I'm repeating it, Memory is not what is said, but it is what we remember it was said. It's slightly delicate. Memory is not what is said, but what we think it was said, or what we remember it was said. Because memory for speech is not reproductive, it is reconstructive. Aapki memory bilkul us tarike se message ko reproduce nahi kar sakti. On the other hand, it reconstructs. You say, is tarah usne kaha tha. Ab jaise contextual difference aa jata hai. Listening mein at times, aap message ko misconstrue kar jati hai. Aap message ko misunderstand. Because aap memory ke andar, while remembering, aap apne perspective se, apne contextual reference se, usko yaad karte hain aur usko vaise hi reconstruct karte hain. Reproduce aap kabhi nahi kar sakte. So that is the crucial part in remembering. Remembering ko aage badhate hue, you must have observed in your everyday life that somebody talks to you on phone. Somebody gives you his or her number. Normally, five, six digit numbers aap easily remember kar lete hain. And at the same time, the person explains to you his or her address. You understand it. You remember it. But by the time you write it down, you forget. Ah, mujhe yaad nahi wo kya kaha tha. Because your memory is very short. Almost half of the things you immediately forget. This is the extent of memory. Immediately what you listen, half of you, half of it you immediately forget. And you only retain 35% after about 8 hours. Hamari memory, short term memory hai, or long term memory hai. A moment hum, bohat sari cheeze, jo ke listening mein involve hoti hai, wo short term memory mein rakte hai. Aap ne aksa dekha hoga, ki aap kabhi shopping ke liye jate hai, aap ki walida kehti hai, gives you a list, doesn't give you a written list, but tells you, ye bhi le aana, ye bhi le aana, ye bhi le aana. And you remember. When you start shopping, you forget. Because the memory is very short. Many of you have put them into the short-term memory. You have put them into the short-term memory. So therefore, this is the problem in remembering 
that we normally tend to forget things unless they are put into the long term memory aap ko maine kaha ki address aapko bhul jata hai aapko telephones lekin at times when the things are in a definite sequence let me say 2 4 8 16 32 64 you will remember it and you will remember it for a long period of time if i say 8 15 19 65 perhaps you will not be able to repeat it because the sequence has been disturbed so this you can put easily into the long term memory lekin like short term memory mein as it is your random hai you tend to forget so keep in mind your process of listening ke andar we have got this defect in our listening that we do not keep these things for a very long period of time then comes the evaluation we evaluate everything we listen we evaluate according to our perception we evaluate according to we what we want to listen so evaluation is perceiving evaluation is we judge the things and then we try to find out what was the actual message evaluation is within us and that is another part of the listening that we tend to give meanings to what we have retained what we have remembered we evaluate in what mood was it what was the message given to us and we try to give meaning to our uh, the message which we have received and then finally comes responding responding could be immediate it could be during the conversation was taking place or we could respond after uh, the messages complete normally responding is also the feedback which you have to give to a person so to tell the person that you have listened the message completely in response much to depends how have we received the message and i'll tell you later on when we talk about the real ways of listening effectively that that is where you have to double check that what you have received what you have evaluated what you have um, uh, conceptualized was in the right frame uh, of mind of the sender so that would be reflected in the feedback like at times when you are not sure what somebody is saying then you might have to repeat if i understand you better this is what you said so responding me at times you have to play this exercise to be doubly sure that the things are rightly received by you now let me talk to you about the various levels of listening because listening has got various levels and the first and the foremost important level of listening is active listening active listening is a most difficult exercise active listening is when you are completely aligned to the speaker you are not thinking from your own angle but from the angle of the person who is speaking you actually put yourself in the shoes of the the person who is talking to you that is active listening active listening you do not evaluate you do not judge you do not make your own opinion but you try to find out what the other person is saying you do not speak from your own beliefs from your own experience but you you try to grasp the message where from it is coming that is the active listening is that you are completely involved in the message and you are not distracted uh, externally or even internally at times you see while you are listening to a person as i said that there are external voices which are disturbing you or at times there could be internal voices disturbing you you are not in the right frame of mind you are not in the right mood to listen to a person and a person wants to share his or her feelings so it is important in active listen you completely cut yourself off you shut yourself off from all external barriers uh, interruptions and just listen to the person with whom you are communicating this is an active form of listening protective listening 
at times you confront a person who is aggressive there the active listening will not work because the the person is using an abusive language the person is trying to flare up your emotions then what you do is you immediately pull yourself back into protective listening you cut off from that stimuli which enrages you aap apne aap ko protect kar lete person who are very calm or very patient when they are abused they just don't speak they have listened but they have protected themselves this is what is known as protective listening those people who immediately flare up who immediately respond they are they have not yet uh gone to this stage of protective listening i remember i mentioned to you about the stress interview in a stress interview the interviewer provokes the the person the provokes the interview interviewee so that he or she loses temper and reflects his nature typically for the for the politicians when they undergo the stress interviews they practice this thing protective listening they keep their calm they keep their cool and they do not react at times they are asked questions which are insulting which expose their past but they just protect themselves and keep on behaving the way they have thought to have a complete control on themselves partial listening partial listening is another level of listening where you respond or you get affected by the mannerism of a speaker sometimes a speaker has got certain flaws grammatically he is not speaking correct language stammers or something obstructs the free flow of communication that is where you tend to cut yourself off from that continuity of conversation you fall into the trap of this partial listening koi cheeze to aap receive kar lete hain koi cheeze aap nahi receive karte agar speaker mein clarity nahi hai thoughts usne achhi tarah se assemble nahi kiye hue sequence koi nahi hai उसके अंदर रेलिवेंस नहीं है उसकी स्पीच के अंदर यू टेंड टू गो इन टू दिस पार्शल लिसनिंग लेवल बिकॉज लिसनिंग में एक्टिव लिसनिंग में यू नीड टू हैव दैट कॉन्टिन्यूटी इन द कन्वर्सेशन मगर पार्शल लिसनिंग में बिकॉज दैट फ्लो हैज ब्रोकन सो बिकॉज ऑफ द फ्लो इन इन द स्पीकर दिस थिंग्स ऑफन ऑबस्ट्रक्ट द फ्री फ्लो ऑफ लिसनिंग एक्सरसाइज बिटवीन the speaker and the listener preferential listening another very uh important aspect that we all tend to live by our own beliefs by our own uh followings by our own traditions hota kya hai that we refuse to listen to some someone who does not belong to our cultural background our beliefs we prefer to listen to somebody who fits into my frame of reference and then we completely turned a, a blind eye towards that person and cut ourselves off from that uh, exercise of listening to that person so preferential listening wahan aati hai jahan aapke beliefs us speaker ke sath clash karte hain and you are not open enough to accept a, a a different point of view you are rigid you are biased or maybe you are prejudiced and because of that you tend to be a preferred preferred uh, preferential listener you will only listen to that person you will only tend to listen what you want to hear this is as i said to you earlier this is another flaw in communication hum wo cheez dekhna chahte hain hum wo cheez sunna chahte hain जो हम हमारी मर्जी के मुताबिक हो तो प्रेफरेंशियल लिसनिंग ऑफन लीड्स टू दैट थिंक
having talked about the levels of listening let us talk about the various types of listening there could be lots of uh, types but i will i'm going to focus on two very important types of listening which are going to really be helpful in your practical life and which will uh, improve your effectivity in communication and the first uh, listening is the critical listening now at times we need critical listening halake critical listening ke andar you are not in that receptive state of mind jo ke aap active listening mein hai because in a critical state of mind you are more in a questioning state of mind because you know that you are going to listen to a biased um, speech and if you are receptive to that biased speech you are afraid that you might get carried away i give an example supposing you are talking to a politician and you have asked him that what do you think of your party what do you think you have done in what do you think what you have done great in the past now here you exactly know what the answer is going to be but if you tune yourself to the level of an active listener you tend to be carried away but here you want to evaluate you are in a state of judging that's an important thing when you evaluate when you judge when you make an opinion of the person then you have to go into a critical uh, level of listening so that you try to assess to differentiate between facts and fallacies what he is saying right and what he is saying wrong where he is true where he is false that's where you have to see that in critical listening you make up your mind that you will be in a questioning state and you will like to find out whether the person is saying the right thing or not in such a state when you are in a critical listening mode then you have to keep an open mind because you are evaluating you are judging you you are you are trying to establish what is right or wrong then you you keep your biases apart and judge a person so to make a correct assessment but you are in a evaluating position so that you find want to find out that whether the facts are uh, relevant or not you must also avoid filtering out difficult messages if you do not filter out difficult messages then what will happen is that you will accept everything things will not be come coming from the person which are acceptable to you so avoid filtering out listen to each and everything whether you can analyze it or you don't analyze it this is very important initially i said to you that you have to filter out here you must avoid filtering out you must be very carefully analyzing what the person is saying each and every word both and rightly more focused on the content keep in mind in the in uh, in my previous lectures i've been telling you that focus on the context here when you are making a, a critical analysis focus on the content that is important second level of listening is empathetic listening what is empathetic listening the word very empathetic listening means involving empathy in your listening and the word empathy means feeling into that is that you put yourself in the shoes of the person it is the opposite of the critical listening in empathy empathetic listening you try to align yourself with the speaker and try to find out the feelings of the person what that person is feeling that is greater emphasis on listening than on talking in the critical listening you are asking questions 
you are focusing on what you are saying and then evaluating it. Here, more on the receptive side. Because people when are speaking uh, empathically, then they are in a state of mind where they want somebody to listen to them. And empathy is showing your feelings, sharing with them, understanding them, not criticizing them, not evaluating them. This is important that in listening, you must let the other person talk. More the other person talk, more the, more the empathy you will have for that person. You are sharing the feelings and that person will open up more and more and feel at home with you during conversation. This listening also tries to get into the other person's inner frame of reference. I told you uh, initially that while listening, you try to put yourself into the frame of reference of the other person to analyze the right uh, conversational uh, mode. In empathy, you really want to know what is the frame of reference, what is the frame of mind of the person is talking to. Because the person who wants to share the feelings, who want to share the sufferings, who want to uh, share uh, some, some uh, things which he wants to confide into a person, then you need to be more on the receiving side rather than trying to object or trying to direct that person. In this stage, you let the person vomit out. Let the person speak out so that the person is easy and uh, is ready to confide in you. This is very uh, essential, crucial in this listening process. The listener is more apt to keep talking, building trust and relationship over time. In an empathy state, the listener talks and builds because the listener is not in a mood to speak from his or her own point of view rather than knowing and extracting more information so that instead of being judgmental, try to just absorb and let the other person find a way out to sort of uh, unburden his or her feelings. This is a very uh, important and uh, uh, emotional state when we enter into such a relationship that is unburdening the feelings and sharing and building a trust and uh, a very lasting relationship. In this listening level, you have to be respectful to the views, to the feelings. They may or may not uh, be in line with your frame of reference, but still you are on the receptive side and you give the other person a chance so that to show to the other person that you respect his or her point of view. Minimize misunderstanding because you are on the receiving end and misunderstanding would arise only when you are in clash, in, in, uh, you are contradicting. In this state you do not because you are not in a critical mode, you are in a receptive mode. So it is important in this level of listening that you interact and let the other person uh, shed his feelings. That is very important. Having said all that, let's do an exercise. And I want you to be very prompt to answer a series of my questions. While you do that, keep your attention towards me because I will be explaining to you these questions. And through this exercise, we will be able to establish that what type of listener are we? I know that you'd be very interested in being an active listener. Or when I said in the that active listener is a listener who completely listens to the other point of view and eliminates his own self. Uske under himself ka element nahi hota. And this comes after a very long exercise with oneself. So we will exercise aaj karenge first just to establish that whether you are an active listener or not. 
सो so, लिहाजा अभी तक मैंने जो आपको कहा है आप पहले क्वेश्चन का जवाब यस और नो में लिख दें कि डू यू थिंक यू आर एन एक्टिव लिस्नर इफ यू थिंक यू आर एन एक्टिव लिस्नर से वाई यस और उसके बाद मैं आपके साथ अ सीरीज ऑफ क्वेश्चन करूंगा और इसी तरह से आपने उनका जवाब यस और नो में देना है और आखिर में हम देखेंगे उसका क्या रिजल्ट निकलता है और अभी जो आपने अपने आप को एवेल्युएट किया है कि मैं एक्टिव लिसनर हूं या नहीं हूं क्या वो आपकी अपनी बारे में असेसमेंट दुरुस्त है कि नहीं तो लिहाजा स्ट्रेट अवे पुट डाउन योर असेसमेंट आर यू एन एक्टिव लिसनर यस और नो एंड नाउ वी मूव टू दर क्वेश्चन माई क्वेश्चन इज डू यू अलाउ योर स्पीकर टू एक्सप्रेस हिज और हर थॉट्स विदाउट इंटरप्शन आपने रोजमर्रा जिंदगी में देखा होगा कि आप जब कोई चीज कोई स्टेटमेंट किसी को कोई इंफॉर्मेशन देते हैं बेशतर इसके कि आप उस स्टेटमेंट को पूरा खत्म कर लें दूसरा खत्म बस बस ठीक है मुझे पता तुम क्या कहना चाहते हो The other person doesn't have the patience to listen to you completely, or maybe you might be doing the same mistake in your life. क्या आप ऐसा करते हैं जब आप किसी speaker को सुन रहे हैं और उसका point of view, उसके thoughts के expression को खत्म होने से पहले ही क्या आप अपना point of view express करते हैं या अपना माइंड मेकअप कर लेते हैं कि मुझे पता लग गया है कि इसने क्या कहना है कहने का मकसद यह है कि क्या आप उस अपने स्पीकर को पूरी स्टेटमेंट कंप्लीट करने का मौका देते हैं या नहीं जवाब आप लिख दीजिए हां या नहीं यस और नो गो हेड माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डू यू लुक फॉर द हिडन मीनिंग्स वाइल टॉकिंग with individuals another question which will determine you that whether you value the content or the contextual message normally zindagi mein you come across people who are not very open who are not very vocal and they shroud they cover their True meanings, उनको hide करते हैं by by some means that they do instead of expressing openly, उसको वो cover करते हैं wrap up कर देते हैं and then they let you guess, कोई चीज openly नहीं कहेंगे rather they will leave you guessing, क्या do you do that? क्या आप वो hidden messages जो के स्पीकर की स्टेटमेंट्स में होते हैं डू यू गो फॉर दोज हिडन मैसेजेस या जो स्टेटमेंट उसने इन वर्ड्स दी है आप उसको वैसे लेते हैं आंसर यस और नो डू यू स्टॉप लिसनिंग बिकॉज यू फील द स्पीकर हैज नथिंग टू से स्पीकर हैज नॉट फिनिश्ड हिज और हर मैसेज Speaker is continue on talking to you, but somehow you have made up your mind कि ये मेरा वक्त जाया कर रहा है इसके पास कहने को कुछ नहीं है आपने एक प्रेमेच्योर डिसीजन ले लिया एंड यू स्टॉप लिस्निंग टू दैट पर्सन वॉट आई सेड इज फिल्टर्स लगा दिए और मे बी वेन द पर्सन इज टॉकिंग टू यू आप छत की तरफ देख रहे हैं आप दाए बाएं इधर उधर making the other person realize that you are not paying attention to the person do you do that because the person has not yet finished talking to you do you do you often do that in your life that you stop you feel that the speaker has nothing to say and then you stop listening answer yes or no next question do you stop listening if the speaker is difficult to understand in your life 
she will come very often to people who are not easy in conversation. They may not be able to express themselves clearly or the subject may be of no interest to you. How do you react? What do you do? What is your reaction? Kya aap us difficult message ko grasp karne ki koshish karte ho? Do you try to find out what the speaker is saying? Ya aap immediately withdraw kar lete ho? Not my cup of tea. Is this your behavior in listening? Yes or no? Write it down. Do you become hostile when the speaker views differ from your own? I always want to talk to people who speak my mind. I only want to give the people who are in the middle of the world. And at this point of view, I can't listen. I am not tolerant enough. Are you like me? I'm, exam I'm giving you an example. Kya people who are hostile, how do you behave with that such an audience? What do you do when your views differ with the views of the, the other person? What is your reaction? Another very important question which you have to answer. Yes or no? Do you fake attention while your mind wanders? Let me explain this question. Like I gave you an example of you sitting in a restaurant talking to your friend and suddenly you heard your name. You were involved in a very important discussion with your friend. Suddenly you heard your name and then aapne ek tam yahan filter laga diya and you start listening. Selective uh, aapki attraction ho gai towards that stimuli. Aap, aapka dost aap se baate kar raha hai, aap usko nod kar rahe hai. Haan, thik hai, thik hai. Suna piche rahe hai. This is called fake, fake uh, response. Do you do that more often? Because you cannot say to your friend, zara khamo chana, mahi sunna chata hoon. Do you do that while conversing that you behave differently? Intrapersonally, you are trying to listen what is said. Agar aisa karte hai, yes. If not, say no. Do you ignore distraction when listening? Often it happens that when you are listening to a speaker, there could be there could be distraction around you. The distraction could be outside. The distraction could be in the person, the speaker, himself or herself. How do you behave in such a manner? Does it create, create barrier between you and the speaker? Distraction, kya aapki internal distraction creates a barrier or not? Because when you are listening to the speaker, are you thinking within your own mind what to do next, where to go? Kya distraction as he hai? So my question is, do you ignore distraction? Both, let's say, internal or internal while you are communicating with your friend. This is a very important thing because if there is distraction, hai, you will tend to be a partial listener. So answer yes or no. Do you concentrate on content rather than the style of the speech. Sometimes it happens that the speaker is not a good speaker. His or her style is not good. But what he is talking is sense, is important. Kya aapke liye content zyada important hai? Ya what, how the delivery is? Of course, in a good speech, both the content and the delivery, ye mein aapko aage jaake bataunga, dono cheezein supplement karti hain. A good speaker is the one who has got a good content and the delivery is good too. It adds to the quality of the, but 
What about a listener like you who encounters a speaker who unfortunately has got a lot of content but the style is not good or jaise maine pehle ka manners mein koi aisi cheez hai jo ki obstruction create karti hai what sort of a listener you become do you focus on the content or you get swayed away you get carried away by the style and you lose the important points of the speech or the conversation that person is trying to communicate to you if the answer is yes fine no write it down do you write down the important points of a speech do you have a tendency to trust your memory aap samajhte hain ki aap जो चीज सुनते हैं वो आपको याद रह जाती है आप कभी किसी को सुनने जाते हैं तो डू यू टेक अ नोटबुक एंड अ पेंसिल दैट समथिंग माइट बी सेड गुड एंड यू वुड लाइक टू जॉट इट डाउन राइट इट डाउन ऐसा करते हैं या आप कभी किसी स्पीच को सुनते वक्त आप चीजें नोट डाउन नहीं करते राइट डाउन यू टू दैट or you don't do you avoid turning off the speaker if the message is boring or you do not like the speaker it often happens that people become restless people try to show their discomfort they show their displeasure by letting the speaker know that they are not interested in his or her speech the speech may be of a very high quality but you do not understand the speech or you think that the topic is not of interest to you it's boring for you a person might be talking of quantum theory he might be talking of politics he might be talking of his own country management style you are not interested you think it's a boring stuff or you just wait there patiently and listen expecting that something might good out of it it might add to your knowledge do you do that or no immediately you have got very clear notions ye chiz sunni hai ye maine nahi sunni how do you react write down yes or no let me come to the last question of this exercise and the question is do you read essential details back to the speaker before the conversation ends to ensure correct understanding what happens in a normal life is that when we are listening to our speaker and when we think that the message given to us is not according to our beliefs according to our thoughts according to our feelings which may be our own perception our own interpretation then we just withdraw instead of trying to establishing the fact by asking a question to the speaker that when you made this statement is this what you meant so that you could reconfirm that what the speaker was saying is how you understood normally we don't do that in our practical life chahe to ye cheez aap ka ek speaker ke encounter ke mein ho rahi ho ya interpersonal relationship mein everyday life mein ho rahi ho we tend to quickly jump to conclusions and make judgments and then we stick by those judgments we do not try to confirm or reconfirm to get the real perspective of the speaker that's why i asked you this question that do you have a tendency of not counter checking and establishing are bhai ye jab baat ki thi to that is what you meant yeah i know He, that's what he meant and you just 
make your own opinion and withdraw yourself. Answer this question, yes or no. Now that you have gone through this whole exercise, see to it where do you stand. Look at the number of answers in yes and number of answers in no. I hope that you have done this exercise impartially. You're not going to share your result with anybody else. It is your self-assessment. And I expect that you will be honestly doing this exercise. You're not going to send these results to me. But if you have correctly assessed and found out that your no's are more than 70%, you are not an active listener. If yes are more than 70%, then you are an active listener. कहने का मकसद यह है कि आपके ज्यादातर क्वेश्चन के आंसर्स में यस होना चाहिए कि यू आर अ पर्सन हु लेट द अदर पर्सन स्पीक आउट हिज माइंड यू गिव द अदर पर्सन अ चांस टू टॉक टू यू फ्रीली एंड फेयरली एंड यू डू नॉट मेक क्विक जजमेंट्स यू डू नॉट इंटरप्ट यू डू यू रीड बिटवीन द लाइंस एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा अगर तो इस एक्सरसाइज के अंदर आपके जवाब ज्यादातर यस में हैं, 80 परसेंट है और या 70 परसेंट से ज्यादा यू आर अ गुड लेसन नाउ दिस इज योर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट यू कैन इंप्रूव अपॉन इट एंड माइंड इट इन माय नेक्स्ट लेक्चर्स स्पेशली द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर कमिंग आई बी फोकसिंग पर्टिकुलरली ऑन हाउ टू बिकम अ गुड लेसन हाउ टू बिकम एन एक्टिव लेसन एंड सो दैट you get involved in the other's point of view and try to be effective in your communication in a nutshell in today's lecture you must have fairly assessed that listening is an exercise which is important for each one of us it's important in our personal life it's essential for our professional life it is important for the managers there it's important for the people at all levels listening will transform you to a good good speaker those who are not good listeners they can never be good speakers and mind it look at the nature allah taala ne bhi hame do kaan diye bolne bolne ke liye ek muh diya लिसनिंग इज अ डिफिकल्ट एक्सरसाइज अगर यह डिफिकल्ट ना होती तो शायद एक ही कान देता लेकिन उसको पता था कि लिसनिंग दो देने के बावजूद भी हम सही तरह से ना लिसन नहीं कर सकेंगे सो फोकस ऑन दिस थिंग एंड बी अ गुड लिसनर बी एन इफेक्टिव लिसनर एंड दिस इज अ स्किल यू आर नॉट बोर्न विद दिस एबिलिटी दिस इज अ स्किल यू ओ डेवेलप ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इन शह अगले लेक्चर के अंदर मैं तफसी इसके बारे में आपके साथ गुफ्तु करूंगा बट आई वुड एक्सपेक्ट दैट यू रिव्यू माई पास्ट लेक्चर्स एंड यू कैन ओनली प्रॉफिट इफ यू मेक दैट योर बेस एंड नाउ वी विल इम्प्रूव आर लिसनिंग स्किल्स एंड आई इन शह आई मेक यू आ गुड स्पीकर खुदा हाफिज